The first reading today speaks of Elijah, the prophet. Well, he was tired and wore out and fed up with life and went to sleep under a tree. Well, then God sent an angel to wake him up. And he presented Elijah with a loaf of bread and said, eat it. Elijah ate a little bit and then fell back asleep. He gave up. Well, again, the angel woke him up and said, eat. So he did. And the angel told him to get up for your journey is long. So Elijah walked for 40 days and 40 nights and finally arrived at Mount Horeb. You may not understand the importance of Mount Horeb, but if you remember, Moses and the people that fled Egypt went to Mount Horeb, and they went there to meet God. Elijah went there to meet God as well. And we can look at our own lives and see this same application, that our journey is long and we have many trials and tribulations, but God wants us wants to support us and wants us to keep going. So he gives us communion, Jesus's body and blood. And it's interesting. When we look at the first reading, how when Elijah ate and then fell asleep again, and the angel woke him up a second time and made him eat again, he got his strength. The same thing happens to us. Just because we take communion once doesn't mean it's enough. We have to keep eating the body of Christ. When our life presents us with problems and trials, we have to get through it to get to our Mount Horeb, where we can live with God forever and ever. That's why I emphasize how important it is that we do not miss Mass, especially on Sunday, because we need to meet Jesus when we have communion. And missing communion can make us weak and make us feel like we need to give up and we break down spiritually. If you remember, I talked about last week how our real life is in the ever after with God. And it's important that we act wisely and take communion so that it can help us get to there and live forever with God. And Jesus tells us this, that whoever eats of my body will live forever. Thank you, and God bless you.